I want to do something a little bit different here. I hope that uh, I hope you guys will bear with me here. I'm going to walk around the crowd for a moment. Can I get a cordless mic here for a minute? Testing, testing. Okay. If you could, uh, again, I'm just going to walk around for a few minutes here to call on some people. If you could please help me with putting together a little bit of a panel here uh, to help me here up on stage. We could have. We have Mr. Herzog. Okay, Shalom Ubracha. We met last, last week in, in Sanhedrin Rechavet, right? We did. So you, you made a long trip this week. If I could ask you to come help me for a minute up on stage. Can I get some chairs on stage? Get some chairs on stage, thanks. Um, who else here is, who else is gonna volunteer? Who else is gonna volunteer? Mr. Rabowski, can I ask you to join us? Come on, we were standing outside by the fire alarm together, you know. This is uh, more than once, probably. Come, come. <laughs> okay, anyone else? Can I ask anyone else over here? One second. Can I ask Yoni? Yoni, could you join us up on stage? Yoni, come, come. Who, who do we have over here? Yoni's son in law is here. Oh, look at that. A guest just came tonight. No, no, one second, I asked him, sorry. The only son-in-law, what's too eager because he just joined us here tonight. I want to put you to work right away, if you don't mind. If you don't mind, who's here? Who's here? Oh, he's good. If you're going to volunteer him, then I'll volunteer you already. Yeah. Anybody who's volunteering over here? I'm not even telling you what I'm going to do over here. So it's, uh, you know what? Let me ask you. What's your name? Moshe David. Come, can you help me up and say, I need somebody, I need somebody younger, not only Alta Kaka's up here. Come on, let's go. <laughs> no offense to the people on stage yet. I'll find some older people. Don't worry. <clears throat> who, else, who else do we have? Who else do we have here? Let's see. Let's see. No? Anyone else going to help us out on stage over here? Who's here? Who's that? What's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's going to volunteer? Ephraim, please come. Ephraim, come, 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 come. <clears throat> come, Ephraim. You want to be part of the show? Here we are. You know? <laughs> Who's Mordechai? Where's Mordechai Gottlieb? No. Mordechai Gottlieb. Come, come, come. Okay, come. I think we have enough up here. I want to ask the following question. I hope, I hope you guys will help me out over here. First of all, a round of applause for these brave men. We've been telling the world for the last, I don't know, 12 years. Ephraim, you know this as well as anyone else. Ephraim, by the way, is a board member of Project Inspire. We can give him a round of applause. <laughs> and, an, and an attorney. Right. Um, we've been telling the world that Project Inspire's message is that you know less affiliated people. You meet them. You come in contact with them wherever you are. Hasidim and Munsi have shown us that, that you couldn't imagine that they lived even near non from people. They've shown us that. Have you guys felt in your line of work, in your ongoing daily lives, mundane airplanes, situations, situations at work, that you've come across care of situations that were easily actable, act, easily actable? Acted upon. Says, who's an English teacher here? <laughs> Says anyone. Does anyone want to volunteer? Two weeks ago on Sunday morning, I actually had a meeting with Yossi, and I went from there with my wife to Pomegranate to do some shopping, and two fellows came up to me. They were hosting a Super Bowl party that night. Guy was holding a bag of chopped meat in his hand. Pomegranate, like in Brooklyn, pomegranate? Heart of Flatbush, free parking, valet parking. Yeah, <laughs> pomegranate, yeah. And he wanted to know if it's kosher because he's hosting a Super Bowl party that night and he doesn't see an OU on the package. So he wanted to know if he can use this meat at a Super Bowl party. Ephraim, I want to tell you something. Everyone here up on stage had the same situation. Is that right? So I want to tell you that with some very brave wives and some very gutsy mother-in-laws 
and in your case, a very gutsy mother, we set out to find out if people would actually act upon mundane situations in the heart of Flatbush. So with your permission, people, you guys were heroes, and you'll watch it for yourself. If we could please roll the tape of Project Inspire visiting Pomegranate on Super Bowl Sunday, 2019. Let's roll the film. Hi. You look Jewish. You mind if I ask you a quick question? Wait till he's by the oranges, guys. And yeah, engage. engage him. Hey, bud. This is French, right? Because it says parve on it. Parve, exactly. Parve means it's not, it's not meat or it's not dairy. So why did you come to this store? My friend said I should come here to shop for some Super Bowl party. They said I could find kosher here. I just want to know how to identify it. Well, the whole store is kosher. Anything that grows from the ground, whether it's fruits or vegetables, kosher. Oh, okay. I like your accent. Are you from Eastern Europe? Yes. I'm Russian myself. So a friend of mine told me that I needed to be blessed. Is there some sort of blessing that... You the blessing on the food if you want. I make the blessing? Yeah. I'll be honest with you, you want to know the truth, right? We don't mix meat and milk. Okay. That's how we're... So I got to call my family now and tell them no chicken parmesan. <laughs> yes, that's them. That's, that's them. Okay, guys. Engage, engage. Excuse me, sir. Do you know what the deli meats are for, like, the ham and the pepperoni and stuff like that? <laughs> uh, you're in the wrong place for ham and pepperoni. But I would recommend some of the other stuff here. It's quite good, actually. So where can I get, like, kosher pizza from my buddies? If you want. It's a store right across the street Actually, I'm the owner of the store. No way! So do you want to come over to our party and I can introduce you as like the CEO pizza maker? I'm Sam, by the way. Mayor, nice to meet you. You have a Talmud? No. I mean, I'm Jewish, but I... Gemara, it's Talmud. We'll introduce you to how to get married legally. How to get married legally? You need to say a certain, certain you... words. And then you're just married? Yeah, I'm saying. That's it. Ask everyone, everyone's friendly over here. Ask whatever questions you have. Okay, so they don't have any bacon here. That's not kosher? No, everything is kosher. So what does it mean that if it's kosher, like it has to come from it's a... Fake, it's fake bacon. It's, okay, it's real. well how does that taste? Does it taste normal? I don't know, I never had real bacon. So Are you Jewish? Like yes, but we're not practicing. We're Eastern European. Yeah, okay. So there's like pork and everything. Mm. So yeah, you're Jewish. I am. Are you Jewish, Allah? Yes. You guys Jewish? Yes, but my family's from Eastern Europe, so they swallow pork down like it's chicken. How they do, you mean? Yeah. You ever heard of Torah anytime? No. You can take classes. It's an organization called Asia Torah. Asia uh, Torah? Yeah, Asia Torah. They have a website? Yeah. Now, you know what? I think it's give you a card. Oh, cool. Thank you, man. One of the things I do in life is try to connect Jews to, to Judaism. Why don't you do this, okay? Let, let's be in touch. I, I'm, I'm now on a mission to buy something for my wife. I, I, I'm here to buy some specific stuff. I'll call you later. Say to Sam, okay, we gotta go back to Queens. Let's go. We have to run back to Queens. <laughs> Where do you live in Queens? Uh, we live in, I live in Forest Hills. I mean, that's, yeah. yeah. Wanna come to me for Charlotte meal, maybe? Do you wanna keep down my number? I can try to get you hooked up. All right, what is it? 917. Yep. This is actually my mom's number. You don't have a phone yet? I don't have 12th grade. Judaism, that's how it works. Really? In Judaism, you don't get phones till, till, till you're 18? <laughs> you call me and then I can try to hook you up with the right person. And what's up with the herring, brother? Everyone's been telling me that I should gotta yeah, try herring. I'm not into herring. You're not a herring person? What about lox? Do you like lox? I love that stuff on a bagel. Actually, we have a wonderful program. <laughs> Go to a hotel for Shabbat. Yeah. And But they have like people who are, you know, like guys like you with a lot of questions and they have religious people. It's beautiful. That's really? awesome. Yeah. Shani, my wife, Doug and Sam, asking a lot Hi. of very good questions about Kashrut. Have you ever been to Israel? No. We have groups going on a regular basis. It's just amazing. You gotta, okay. It's like telling a, a blind person what a rainbow looks like. Take my number. And your name? David. Mr. Nice David, Sam. Sam, nice Pleasure, brother. 
Yeah, Appreciate you, dude. Pleasure. Thank you so Thank much. You. Can I come in for a hug? Of course. You're so helpful, man. Appreciate it. And I'm going to definitely try your pizza. I'm going to tell everyone I met the CEO of the pizzeria place, man. You don't mind if I take down your name and number? And no, that's mail. fine. I'm, I'm always happy to give out my number to everyone. <laughs> Rabbi, you're awesome, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. It's a pleasure. Hey, thank you so much. Absolutely amazing, and absolutely amazing. Well, is it fair to say, though, that not everything was so straightforward? Not everything was so straightforward on this. You see, sometimes Shim and Sam can really, Doug and Sam, if you will, can really get out of hand. So there weren't always these amazing moments. So with your permission, we have an outtake video that we'd like to show you that is, is uh, really a key of primer, if you will. So ladies and gentlemen, let's roll the videotape of the outtakes from Project Inspire's trip to Pomegranate, not to be missed. Awesome, awesome. This is going to be exciting. It looks good, yeah, I got the barbecue sauce, uh, whatever the heck this is. Um, but how do I... Like I... This. this is so high in cholesterol. You'll die from this. Who okay. told you to buy this? All right. <laughs> no, this is not pork rinds. This is... Um, it looks like pork like it. Yeah, it's from chicken. What makes... Oh, like fried the chicken skins? From the chicken. Oh, yeah, man, that's, that's, that's yummy. Have you had these before? Yes, but not really like how the allergist knows about it. <laughs> I was once told by an Israeli guy that, like, Israeli oranges aren't kosher. That could be because in Israel, every seven years, there's uh, something called shoot, whatever. All right, we got to get out. I got to get out, but I'll give you my number. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Uh, one second, one second. I want to talk to you. One second, I'm not letting you go. <laughs> Food is inherently kosher. Um, well, I'm only asking because one time Unless I was... Unless it happens to be from Israel. If it's from Israel, I would avoid it. For other reasons, nothing to do with its uh, necessarily its kosher status, but it could have other issues. I might want to... You know, yeah, because somebody that. once yelled at me because I was going to eat a piece of fruit, and they said, no, you can't eat it because it's not kosher. It's not that we're anti-Semites, and we don't buy stuff from Israel. Right. It's, uh, <laughs> Thank you for clarifying that. Yeah, well, do I look like an anti-Semite? <laughs> no, no, no. I tell you, there are times... You're though, very sharply dressed, though. I thought you were like a doctor or a rabbi. A doctor or a rabbi. Okay. A lawyer. There you go. There. Are you a lawyer? I am. <laughs> How can I help you? That's awesome. Hold on, I got the computer right. on. Just give him that awkward hug. Dude, you're awesome. Thank, Thank you again, man. Really appreciate it. Thank you Thank so you. much. We'll be in touch. Absolutely. Thank okay. you again, man. You're awesome. Really, really awesome. Okay, by the Thank way. Thank you. One of you guys need to ask to try on his yarmulke. What you're wearing is, uh, what's it called? It's a yarmulke? Oh, that? Yeah, yes. that's, yeah I thought you meant my jacket. Okay. Yeah, that's, yeah. I've actually never worn a yarmulke in my life. Really? Yeah. Would you like to trade me? You wear the Corona, I wear your yarmulke. For a second, I've never worn a yarmulke. Have you ever worn one? Oh, only yeah, like one bar mitzvah, maybe. Yeah? I've literally never put it on my head. Trade? Shampoo recently? This is brand new. He did watch his hair. Are we doing a full-time trade or are we doing a part-time? No. I mean, you can take you it back if you want. I just want to try it. I want to try it on. That's all. Go ahead. That's it. Knock okay. Yourself, knock yourself out. I feel holier right now. It looks good on you. I feel like having a Corona. <laughs> Sam, you got to try it. You got to try it. Feel <laughs> sick. Feel sick. Sam, take a picture. Take a picture, Sam. This is awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for our contestants here. You guys were absolutely amazing. The hardest part was for your wives to actually keep a secret from you this entire time. She's walking home. She's walking home is right. We have, yeah, okay. Anyway, I want to present you, courtesy of Pomegranate, a $25 gift certificate to Pomegranate of unhindered shopping at Pomegranate. 
without anyone bothering you. There's a real gift certificate. Now you can buy as many oranges as you'd like. And Grivenous. Thank you so much all. Thank you for your wives. Thank you for your mother. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, shh. you never know what you'll get here at the Project Inspired Convention.